Here I'm showing you how to make a graph of your titration data using a spreadsheet. I'm using Microsoft Excel. Usually your data consists of two interrelated variables. So in this case I have the milliliters of 0 0.5 molar NaOH, which I'm typing into column A. And I'll drag this over here so that I can actually see everything I've written. Column B, I'll be graphing pH. When I make my chart, I usually like to have these labels and the numbers themselves in the middle. So I'm going up here to center. Now I type in my numbers. Start with 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And the pH values will be whatever you recorded, as well as this uh, column here, whatever you recorded in your actual lab experiment. But let's imagine I have something that looks like this. And I'm typing in the pH values that I recorded during the experimental part of my lab. Okay, so there's my data, and I'm ready to make the graph. To make the graph, I will highlight or put a box around all the data, the two columns. Up here at the top, I will now insert a graph. There are all these graph types. Most people think you want line, but in reality, you want this a scatter plot. See how it says it compares pairs of values when they represent separate measurements, which they do. I have choices here, either lines or no lines, and markers or no markers. I will choose this one, scatter with smooth lines and markers. Click on that. So my graph comes up, and it looks pretty good just to start here, but I'll make it better. I will change the title to be something meaningful, titration of a buffer with strong base. Okay, that makes this much more meaningful. This label here I don't need, so I'm actually deleting it so that I have more space for the graph. Now I need to put labels on the axes. What are these numbers here? We need labels. So up at the top here, under Chart Tools, there's a button that says Layout, and I go to Axis Titles. There are two axes, so let me first label the primary vertical axis, that's the y-axis, and type in pH, and hit return. And now you can see that this is labeled as pH, which it should be. One more thing, go up to the top, axis titles, horizontal, that's the x-axis, title below axis, and here I'll type in milliliters of 0 0.5 molar NaOH. That looks good. So my graph looks ready to go here. If I don't like the way it looks, I can do a right click here and it will give me options to change things. Or I can click on the line itself and format the data series which I can change the line color, line style, lots of things. Here I just want to copy this graph and put it in my lab write-up. So I'm clicking here. I'm clicking here where there isn't anything, just in this blank space. Right click and copy. And now I can put this into a Word document, for example, where I just do uh, paste. And there's my graph in my lab write-up.